Here we are uh, halfway through the year, uh, 2015 so far off to a good start. We're, uh, well, we're up uh, 11% after March, so another percent in April, so we're up 12% on the, uh, on the year so far. I think the TSX is up two and a half. Uh, the S&P is doing better in Canadian dollars, up uh, 10, 10 and a half percent. Uh, so we're beating the Canadian markets uh, quite well. Uh, we're most excited though about two of our private investments. Uh, they are both scheduled to uh, do an IPO uh, in the month of June. Uh, we have quite large positions in both. I mean, uh, it's probably 3 4% in both, so 7% of the fund. We expect both to do well. I think that's going to give us a nice little boost for the uh, first half of the year. Uh, in general, though, in the, in the portfolio, we're uh, lightening up. You know, our uh, summer season is coming. And unfortunately, in Canada, there is a seasonality uh, to, the, uh, to the markets. It is, uh, uh, it is often better to, uh, to have a lot of cash through the summer season. And we keep debating this, uh, Jacques uh, and I debate this every year, but it's, it's fairly consistent. Uh, volumes dry up, everybody goes to the cottage, and uh, often when volume dries up, uh, uh, stock prices uh, decline a little bit. So uh, because we're measured monthly, it's quite painful to watch one of your 4% uh, positions uh, you know, go down by 20% uh, just on no volume. So we prepare for that. We've been at this, uh, this is our 10th uh, calendar year. So uh, this trend will continue, it happens every year. Martin Rea is a big holding, uh, Magna is still a big holding, we like the, uh, the auto, uh, auto parts uh, sector, uh, we've been light, uh, underweight uh, energy, but I think energy is, uh, is stabilized, uh, uh, which is quite encouraging for just about everybody in, uh, in uh, Western Canada. Uh, I think the stocks are a good value, uh, so we've, uh, we've, we've covered a lot of our uh, energy shorts and uh, added on the long side. Uh, we're particularly playing the international names listed in Canada. Uh, PRE just got uh, taken out. Uh, we didn't own that stock, but we own Perex, which is our, I think our largest holding now. And uh, the fact that PRE is not going to be around is tremendously beneficial to, uh, to Perex. We think it's, uh, the stock's good value, it's a billion dollar company, and um, uh, should, uh, if PRE leaves the Canadian index, I think Perex is going to be there, it's going to get a bigger allocation, I think the, the stock should do well. Stock's fundamentally a, a good value, Bankers Petroleum, uh, in Eastern Europe, a terrific stock, uh, we own quite a bit. Uh, we only own two gold stocks, uh, and yet gold seems to have stabilized around $1,200. Uh, it's been at this level for, what, four or five years now, so it's, it's been a long time. We only own two gold stocks, both gold stocks have done tremendously well, so like Klondex is, I think, up like 80% in the last six, seven months. It's just, uh, it was stupidly cheap, and I uh, guess what, market's waking up to it. Uh, uh, and Lakeshore, we think it's good value and a potential takeout candidate. Uh, on the currency trade, we've been, uh, we were short uh, uh, the Canadian dollar, the Euro, and the Japanese yen against the US dollar. And it was a terrific trade for uh, quite a period of time. Clearly, the, uh, uh, the trade's going the other way. There's a, you know, there's a bounce back. Uh, we don't think it's gonna last for long, but it's significant. And so we've, uh, we've been stopped out in a number of our uh, currency trades, so we're, we're almost neutral. We're neutral on the Euro. We're, uh, we're not, we still own lots of US dollars, but vis-a-vis uh, -vis Canada. And uh, we have a small short position in the Japanese yen. But what's our position in the, in the fund? We're, uh, we were as high as 95% long and 22-23% uh, short. We've dropped our longs down to 90 and our shorts have gone up to 32-33%. Uh, so we're, uh, we're preparing for the summer. I would anticipate we go down to 80% uh, uh, on the long side. And that includes a bunch of bonds, you know, 10% uh, uh, high yielding bonds and, and what, 5-6% of gold. So, I mean, equity exposures uh, will drop down to the 60% range. And as I said, we have two of our companies uh, going public soon. Uh, these are going to be significant uh, chunks of the portfolio. Unfortunately, I think we're going to be overweight, both of them, uh, by the time, uh, you know, IPO plus a month. So we're going to have to lighten up on those uh, as well, just because uh, we don't have enough money under management to, uh, unfortunately, we're going to we're gonna have to sell some stocks. Uh, that's it. That's the update. And um, uh, I look forward to, uh, to doing this again in the fall. We'll give you a good idea what we plan to do for September through till Christmas.